To access Creative Studio, go to sawgrassinc.com and then click on Creative Studio. Click on Access Creative Studio. If prompted, enter your username and password, and then click Log On. Click on Launch Creative Studio Online Designer. When the Creative Studio Online Designer opens, you'll see the product wizard. Creative Studio is product centric, which means you always start with a specific product and then build your images around that product. To begin with, select the product category you wish to work with. For my demonstration, that will be an award plaque. Click on Awards and Plaques. Click Next. Click on the down arrow to see a selection of awards and plaques. I'll select this one. Then click Next. If it's available in multiple colors, the colors will be listed here. I'm going to choose the brown. Click Next. Here you'll choose your orientation and your paper size. I'll be working with a vertical orientation and I'll be using letter vertical. And click Start Designer. You'll now see the product template for the chosen award plaque. The product template has a white area. This represents the printable area of the actual award plaque. Just outside of the white area, you'll see a black area. The black area is called a bleed. Typically, we make our product images slightly larger than the product so that it makes it easier to line up the transfer paper with the substrate for pressing. Anything that goes into the bleed area will print, but because the bleed is outside the printable area of the substrate, anything in the bleed will not transfer to the substrate. At this point, you could add plain text, you could add an image, but the simplest way to get started is to use an art template. Art templates have been created for Creative Studio and provide a good starting point because you can edit them to your needs. So to get started, we'll click on Art Templates. When it opens, it opens to a folder called My Templates, which is where templates that you create and save would be stored. To access the stock templates, click the down arrow and then choose the proper category. I'll be using Awards and Plaques. I'm going to scroll down and select this particular plaque here, the Sports Plaque Vertical 1. The template comes in and sizes to the actual product itself. The different graphical elements are called objects. Anything that you can click on is an object. Each object can be manipulated in size. It can be moved. It can be rotated. It can be recolored. It can be deleted. On the right hand side you'll see object list. And it lists the different elements of this image with each one being an individual object. Whichever one is selected will be showing the color of that area. For example, if I select Champions, you can see the object color is white. If I select on the ball, there are no colors shown, which means I cannot change the colors of that particular image. So let's set this up, presuming that we're working with a real client. In this case, our client is interested in football, but not American football, rather a soccer ball. So the first thing I need to do is change this particular image. I've clicked on it to select. You'll see over here the word replace. If I click on replace, it'll take us directly into the image section. Click the down arrow and you can see a list of all the stock images. And in this case, we'll be using sport, football, soccer. Now we have a selection of images to scroll through and I'm going to choose the football, soccer ball in flames. And you can see it has replaced that original image. And now I can actually make it a little bit larger if I wish. And then move it into whatever position I want. In this particular case, we do need to change the name of the team for this exercise. I've selected Lorem Ipsum over here. I will now change the text to read 
Midtown. Click OK. And we'll change high school to football club. And click OK. The new text has been saved in the existing font and the existing color. If we wish to change the placement, we can certainly move it. If we make, wish to make it larger, we can do so as well. If you'll notice up in the top left hand corner, this is our object size indicator. Whatever has been selected, you will see the dimensions listed here. As you change the size, you will see the dimensions change. If you wish to change the font style, click on the text, then go to Object, go to Text Font. Here you can see categories of fonts that you can choose from. We'll go to Athletic, and we'll change to the College. And we do the same with this one here. Object, Text Font, Athletic, and College. If we wish to change the color of the font, select it and click on the color box under object colors you have three ways to apply a new color the first is to use the standard palette of sublimation friendly colors simply select on the color and it will replace the existing color the second is to use the matrix to create a custom color if you watch the color box here which is currently white as I move the mouse you will see the color changes so you can certainly create a custom color using this function if you know the RGB color, you can actually type it in here. For this example, I'm going to select from the standard color palette. And I will also change this one as well. I'll change state tournament to read district tournament. Okay. If we wish to change the color of the rectangular area. We'll select that and apply the new color. To change the background color, make sure it is selected. And you can see the color black under object colors and choose a different color. If you would like to add in text, click on text. You will see the default words are sample text. Select and type in the text you prefer. Click OK. Move into position. Change the size as needed to fit. Change the colors as needed. You can add an outline to the text, which will make it easier to read. Click on Text Outline. Put in the size. Select a color and click OK. If you wish to delete text, click on Object and then click Delete. You can perform an alignment of text by selecting multiple lines at the same time. To do this, hold the Shift key while clicking on the different lines of text to temporarily group them together as one. Click Object and you can align center, which it already is, align right or align left or back to center. If needed, you could align horizontally to the design area or align vertically to the design area. To undo that, click the undo key. Once you've made your changes, you're ready to save your image. Click save. Typically you will save it as a template. So let's provide a name. When you save as a template, it will save the artwork and the product template together and can be edited in the future. If you wish to save it as a non-editable file, if you save it as an image, it will be a non-editable file, but it will be saved in the exact dimensions of which it was created uh, so that it can be applied for other purposes. We will stay with the template. Click OK. Click OK. Now we're ready to print. Click the print button. Provide a file name. Include a product bleed line. Uh, this is useful when the artwork does not extend all the way to the bleed area. In this case, uh, because the artwork is the same size as the bleed area, a product bleed line is not necessary. When we save to print, we'll also be saving the file 
in a folder, which is called our jobs folder, so we can always retrieve it later for printing again in the future. Click OK. Now click here to print. This will open the Creative Studio Print and Color Manager. Here you can see your image displayed and it has been mirrored, which is the normal way that we print the majority of sublimation products. Select the substrate. In this case, it's a Unisub product. Select the paper that you're using. In my case, it's Text Print R. Select your speed, either high speed, high quality, or advanced photo. High quality would be appropriate for this situation. Click on the color tab. And because this is a graphic, not a photograph, choose graphic. And go back to material. You're now ready to print. Click on the print button and it will be sent to your printer. To learn more about Creative Studio, go to the Creative Studio login page where you'll be able to access a large library of tutorials and how-to videos that will cover all the different features and functions for using Creative Studio and the Creative Studio Print and Color Manager. Reklamní technologie CZ. Váš startovní bod pro výrobu reklamy.